everyone welcome back to my channel my name is bokis how are you doing <laughs> i am fine hope you have so please if today is your first time of checking out this channel you're welcome in the right place please make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified each time we put up a video yeah you can check out my other channel bokis kitchen for lovely food recipes pattern drafting with bokis for lovely pattern drafting yeah <laughs> So back to today's class, we are going back to the basics, which is how to take accurate body measurements. This is very, very essential in garment construction because if this is wrong, then your outfit is going to come out wrong, which you don't want that. So you really need to take your time to learn how to take accurate measurement and perfect that. Yes. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. It's very easy. And you know when Bucky says it's easy. So when you're talking about body measurement, it is divided into two. We have the vertical measurement and then the horizontal measurement. What I, do I mean by the vertical measurement? It means all the measurements starting from the nape of the neck. This is the nape of the neck. From here, along your body. So all the measurement you take from the nape of your neck downward at the vertical measurement. Why the horizontal measurements are the measurements you take across your body. Can you see that? So I've done that with the draping tape, which you can see very well. So I'm going to guide you on how to go about that. The first measurement you want to learn how to take is your shoulder measurement. So that just take your measuring tape, place it. I'm still going to turn it to the back, starting from one edge here to the other edge. Now let me turn it to the back. So just take your measuring tape, starting from here, like a guideline where you are putting on a dress or a t-shirt, the place whereby it joins from the shoulder to the sleeve, that is where your shoulder measurement is, so for a guide. So just start from here, across this way, and whatever you have is your shoulder measurement, like for her it is 15 inches, for me it is 18, yeah that's quite wide. <laughs> So having taken your shoulder measurements, then let's go to the vertical measurement. So all you have to do, take your measuring tape, place it on the nape of your neck this way, on the higher part of it. Then take your measuring tape. The first measurement you'll be taking is your boss point measurement, which is the highest part of your bust. So looking at it here, this is the highest part of the bust. So you take your measuring tape, and just stop right there. So whatever you have is your bust point measurement. From there again, you move downward. This is the smallest part of your waist. How do you get that? You could just get a sling and then tie it around that point. So the smallest part where the sling is going to stay is your true waist measurement. So I've done that with the draping tape. Or you could just bend and when you have a fold is where you take your waist measurement so good so i haven't placed it here done this so for the waist just go down again so whatever measurement you have here for you is your waist measurement then that is the vertical waist measurement then going down again to the e whenever you are taking your hip vertical hip measurement or say um, horizontal hip measurement it has to be the strongest part of your hip that is where it's more prominent, the widest part. So for her, this is the strongest part of her hip. So take your measuring tape straight down to that point. So for her now, it is 24. For me, too, it is 24. Some, it could, be, it could be 22, 23, depending on your height. So that is how you take your bust point, waist, and hip, that is vertically. After doing all this, let us now go to the horizontal measurements. So just take your measuring tape and then you just rotate it around. Make sure the measuring tape passes through the highest part of your bust. That is very, very essential. So whatever you have here is your bust measurement. So it should be able to move freely on the bust. So can you see the way I place my finger? So that is how you do that. Can you see that? Then let me show you the back. 
because that is also very very important so looking at it now you can see the way the draping there the draping tape goes is not something you want to take your measurement and you have something like this this is totally wrong it has to align with the highest part of the boobs are you getting what i'm saying that is very very essential so can you see what i have so when you turn it around can you see you still have it on the highest part of your boobs that is how to take the accurate bust measurement please now going to the waist you do the same thing rotate it around that's very easy to take so whatever you have and make sure your measuring tape moves freely not too loose and not too tight but if you are having extra allowances he is that should be when you are drafting your pattern but when you are taking your body measurement make sure you take the exact measurement not too loose and not too tight good now let us go over the hip as i said the strongest part of your hip so for her now it is 40 inches it should be able to move free that is go down can you see and then come back up another thing when you're taking your hip measurement is at the back it should be on the highest part of your butt you don't want to have something like this okay this is how to take that not something like this you understand have your hand so what you need to do is to take it on the highest part of your butt and also the strongest part of your hip. Now, having talked about the vertical and horizontal measurements, another vital measurement you need to learn how to take is your bust span measurement. What do I mean by that? That is just the distance from one of the nipple to the to the other. So now this is the highest part of your boob. This is the highest part of your boob. So all you have to do is to take the measurement of that distance. Can you see? So that is how you take that. So this is what I have here. So on the average is between seven and a half eight, but like for me it is nine inches. My bust span is nine inches. So you've learned how to take all the necessary body measurement. Like when you are, um, when you want to make your skirt then you'll be needing the distance from your waist to your hip like for me it is eight inches for her it is seven inches it varies but that's easy you can simply remove your waist length your vertical waist length from your vertical hip measurement so that's easy then we can go to the sleeve how do you take your measurement for the sleeve like the ham hole round all you have to do this doesn't have uh <laughs> it doesn't have a hand but you don't have to worry so this is it here so just take the measurement there let me turn a bit so can you see so you need to take something like this and it has to be very very loose just take it although in most cases i don't really use that i just use the calculation when we get to how to take um how to draft a sleep pattern i will explain more on that so just it and you see and make sure it is loose okay make sure it is loose. that is how to take your ham round measurement but in most cases i make use of the formula when we get to the sleeve on how to draft sleep pattern i'm going to explain that in detail then another thing you want to note is your sleeve length you could have so when you are taking that, make sure it is from the end of your shoulder, from here, because we started taking the measurement from here, so you should start from there. And I've given you a guide where the shoulder touches the sleeve should be where you take that. So when you want a short sleeve, in most cases, eight, nine is short for me. Then if you want midi, like for me, 17. Then for long sleeve, from here, just take it to your wrist. For me, it is 24, so it depends on that. Then your sleep opening, just take your measuring tape and then take your sleep opening. When I'm taking my sleep opening, I advise you to come down here so that by the time you put on your outfit, it will be able to pass through your hand. 
so in most cases your sleeve opening should be somewhere around here yeah like for me it is 10 so if it's a short sleeve you take your measurements around here so that is it on how to take your accurate body measurement hope my tutorial has been helpful if it has please give me a giant thumbs up check us out on sewing on facebook on sewing innovations and on instagram lucky signatures i love you guys so much bye